YouTubers, uh, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's uh, episode of Coral Friday, um, I actually picked up something a little different than a coral. Um, I actually picked up a live specimen. Um, what I picked up today was actually, it's a, a cocoa worm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one. Um, it's actually a worm that lives in a tube. It's in the same, uh, same family as a feather duster, but it actually grows in a longer tube and the worm lives inside and it has like two heads. It's uh, the head on it is actually white and red. Um, it, it builds its outer shell uh, using the calcium uh, in your water. Um, with the cocoa worm, you need to have your water like uh, pristine. Um, they like to feed on uh, polyplankton. Um, like in my tank, I feed my tank uh, reefroids. Um, so the reefroids are actually a little too big because they're a filter feeder. So the, the powder of the reefroids that's in my tank, that's what will feed, feed the cocoa worm. So I got the cocoa worm right now. It's uh, acclimating up here in the corner. Um, I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna try to get a close up to show you what he looks like. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place him today in the tank, um, the location and why. Because like the cocoa worm, it doesn't like a lot of flow. So you wanna put it in an area where there's not much flow. It doesn't really, they don't really care about the light. And you wanna make sure in your reef tank, you wanna keep your water clean and you wanna make sure there's uh, lots of uh, calcium for the cocoa worm to build its shell. Um, Cause they can build a sh their uh, outer shell um, maybe about two inches a month about. So the worm actually grows pretty fast. Um, the care level on these, um, you want to make sure you're an experienced reefer because they're they are they are hard to keep alive sometimes because of the their feeding habits and you want to make sure you keep your calcium and you want to keep your water really pristine. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get the uh, the cocoa worm out of the bag here. It's been acclimating for a while now. Um, adding a little bit of water at a time, getting the temperatures all right, making sure all your salinity is in check. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take him out of here. Uh, I'm gonna take him downstairs. I'm gonna coral dip just the outer shell of him. I don't want to get the coral dip on him. So that's the plan, all right guys? All right guys, so I got the cocoa worm here. I'm gonna show you guys he's in the bag. I um, just got him out of the tank. So I'll try to get you guys up and close to see what he looks like. So this is his outer shell. Um, he's quite long. If he was stretched out, he's probably almost nine inches. I don't know if you guys can see him there. You can see, see the white? This is the new growth that I got right at the local fish store. He's been there about, he said about a couple weeks. So that the new that new white part is where uh, the new growth on him. So he's really doing really well. So I'm just gonna take him upstairs. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up his outer his outer shell here. It's a little bit of revive, make sure I got no pests on him, but I'm not gonna get it on the worm himself. Uh, so I'm just gonna take him down to the lab guys, and then I'm gonna bring him back up, and then we're gonna we're gonna place him in the tank. I'm thinking about putting him in the substrate. All right, guys. So I got the cocoa worm. I got him all placed in the tank. Um, so where I placed him today was actually on the right side of my tank. I put him in the substrate. I pushed him down in the sand, covered him up up against a rock for a little bit of stability. Um, and it's actually in a nice uh, like a low flow area, a little bit of a tide that goes through there, so he's not being pounded. Um, the other thing is too with the cocoa worm, you want to make sure you have your calcium levels in check because they use up a lot of calcium to grow their new shell. Like I showed you, you saw the new white, that was only like in two weeks, so that's doing really well. And you want to make sure to have like a polyplankton because uh, they're a filter feeder. And plus this is what I use, I use uh, reefroids. This is what I feed my tank, reefroids, the, the corals love this stuff. As soon as you, they get it on their pop serve, they just, they just grab that. So I'm going to spot feed him for a while, but it's actually... If you look inside, you see here, like that's very, very fine powder. Very, very fine powder. So he'll actually eat the powder of the powder. That's the really small stuff. So you wanna make sure he gets uh, fed all the time. I usually I spot feed my coral, so I'll make sure he gets some of that, but just free floating, cause he's a, he's a filter feeder. So I'm gonna see if he's uh, actually emerged out of his uh, shell now, so I can show you guys up and close uh, what he looks like. All right guys, so the cocoa worm, he finally came out of his shell. Um, so this is him up close and personal. He's definitely a beautiful looking worm. Um, he's red and white. He's a filter feeder and this is what he does. He flows in the current and he picks up really small particles to feed. Um, I end up feeding him reefroids, so he'll eat the powder of the powder, the smallest stuff you can. And he likes to eat on a polyplankton as well. Um, but I'm more just feeding him uh, reefroids to start off with. I'll spot feed him and uh, keep him going on in the tank. I'm definitely happy I got him. He's a beautiful addition to, the, to my tank. Um, I might pick up one more um, and add him in a different area. So I hope you guys like this cocoa worm. Definitely beautiful. I hope you guys can get one as well. So thanks for watching uh, Coral Fridays. Or just remember every Friday's Coral Friday with Farm Boy Reef. So I hope you liked this episode. So please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. 
and we'll move on to episode 8 next week and see what kind of treasure I can find. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.